Hey guys, it's Elle and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing a real-time quick morning routine. Alright, so before we get started, hit that subscribe button, give me a little thumbs up and let's do it. What I wanted to do is I wanted to show you a real-time quick morning routine that you can do with a toddler hanging on your leg, a business call going at the same time, or you have literally five to probably seven minutes to get all of your makeup on and look very put together. I will want to start out by saying when I get out of the shower in the morning, my hair is wet right now. I pull it up in this little top knot thing. But what I do first is I put my uh, Diva Curl Wave Maker on my hair first. I brush it through. I scrunch it with a towel in my hands and then I put on the Way Wave Spray. Um, it has no salt in it and I literally put it up like this. And then I go into my routine. I have already applied my, I've been loving this, this is a new by Miraness. This is the Velvet Maxi Sculpt. It's a primer. I love this. It gives a great tack to the skin. Also, it's collagen boosting. It's a lot of um, great skincare ingredients in it. And then I just tapped on a little bit of Tatcha uh, primer right here in the center of my skin. All right, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to show you why I gravitate towards palettes. This is the new Kevin Aquan palette. It is the contouring book. It's Sculpt and Define Volume 3. And the reason why I gravitate towards this is because it's all right here in front of me. Super easy to use and I know and I trust these products. Okay, so what we're first going to do is we are going to quickly do our eyes. And I am going to start out with the Sculpting Light. Whoa. We are going to start out with the Sculpting Light Shade. Please don't mind my fingernails. It is uh, one of those weeks. I have family in town and I don't have time. And what I say is always is this is real life. So I'm going to take that Sculpting Shade and I, I have nothing on my eyes. I have no primer, no nothing. So if you guys need a primer on your eyelids, go for it first. That takes all of two seconds. I'm going to start building in the crease right here. I have natural discoloration in my eyelids and I don't care. I just go with it because for me, it's already putting on eyeshadow and it's less work for me to be honest with you. And so I'm just going to use this in the hollows of my eyes and bring it up on that brow bone. If you want more tutorials on hooded eyes, I will link that in this video and show you why I do my placement there. Then I'm going to go into the Sculpting Medium Shade, and I'm going to go right over that. And just building a little bit of definition. These colors are matte, and I'm going to be using them on my face, so why not use them on the eyes? Okay, done at that. Then I'm going to take my um, Eau Natural. This is the Multi-Stick in Grapefruit. And I'm going to pop this right here in the center of the eye to give it a little bit of coloring and to give this a little bit of, um, not it's not really shine, but it is a cream product. So it's going to give the eye a little bit more dimension. Just like that. I really, really love this multi-stick. It's a very natural formula and it's super easy to use with your fingers. Okay. That is, is all I, I do. And then I'm going to pop on some mascara. Right now I am testing out the Charlotte Tilbury mascara, her brand new one. I really have been liking this. And just so you guys know, I will be at the end of the year doing my top 10 for every category, including fa um, and mascara. I know you guys ask me a lot about my Holy Grail mascaras and um, I will be doing that at the end of the year. And I know you guys love those. Those are actually some of my favorite to do. All right. So that is on. Easy as that. Now, if you get a little mascara up here, just take your finger, wipe it away, or wait for it to dry, and then you can use a, um, like a disposable mascara wand. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Benefit um, ma a new foundation. I want something that I can use my hands on, and this is literally how fast I would do it. I don't have any illuminating primer on at all. And I actually am getting still a little bit of mascara up here, so I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just buff that out. Take my little brush and just go right over it. 
happens, you guys. It really happens. And this is real time, and so I don't have time to do my pretty techniques where I will hold something up so it doesn't get all over the place. Um, you want a foundation that you can use your hands with, in my opinion, unless you're really fast with a beauty blender, which I know a lot of you guys are. But for me, like, you know, the Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundation would be fantastic for this. But we're talking about a really quick routine. And I know that this one works for me. Also, CC creams would be fantastic for this. So your Klee or your Urban Decay or whatever your favorite um, CC cream is. See? Real time. Phone's going off. All right. And I'm going to really get in there. All right, skin is perfected. Now I'm going to be using my Tarte Aqua Concealer. I keep going back to this bad boy and I'm gonna put a dot here, dot here, dot here, dot here, and one on each side of my nose. My Beauty Blender is not damp. i pretending that I didn't have time to do that this morning. I need to look up. And I just start to bounce and blend. You can, of course, use your fingers. I just find, for me, that this is how it is the fastest I can do it, is with a beauty blender. And I'm just tapping, 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 tapping. Please leave in the comments how you do your makeup in the morning, how, you know, tips that make it go faster for you guys. This is definitely one of those, and I'm just going to do whatever's rest on my nose. That's a little bit of highlighting. And there we go. Everything's looking really perfected. I am going on with my uh, Hourglass in Ethereal Light, and I'm just going to tap this in ever so slightly underneath and over that. And you can use your... Be okay, guys, sorry about that. My camera totally just fell. Hmm, good times, um, but I was just setting. This foundation does not really need to be set the way that I prepped it, and I'm just gonna use a little bit on my nose. So you wanna, for the most part, use a foundation that you don't need to really set. If you want to, then just spread a bunch of powder, you know, if you wanted to. I've been using the Milani Glow Powder, and you can just do a little bit of this if you want to. Say you want it to last a little bit longer. All right. So now I'm going to go back into my palette and I'm going to be using the medium sculpt shade and I'm going to pop this right here and right here. Uh, this Again, you can use your hourglass powders for this, but I'm trying to show you guys a little bit how um, when you have a palette, it's just a lot easier to, that has all this stuff in it you know, contour and blush and highlighter, how it makes it go on so much quicker because you don't have to be reaching for 12 different things. Um, all right, so that is done. Now I'm going to take my same multi-stick again on my Beauty Blender that is not damp, and I'm just going to start pressing this in. I'm actually pressing it where I don't really have powder, and this is a great tip to make your blush stay on a lot longer which is using a cream formula first and then a powder formula over it, or you don't have to use a powder formula at all. It's really up to you. God, this is such a beautiful multi-stick, you guys. Holy smokes. And when I wear it on my eyes, it does not crease for me, okay? Perfect, yay. Okay, now I'm gonna go into a, just a tiny bit of the, um, the highlighter, I'm gonna be using the one called Beam, which is this golden one. I'm gonna smush my brush just ever so slightly right over this. You don't have to, this is not a step you have to do, but look how pretty that is. I, can't, I keep blowing on my palette, which I never do, it's just I'm rushing. And then right over that brow bone, into the blush, you know I am obsessed with the Kevin Aquan blushes in this brick format, it is so good. And then I'm just going to go right over that cream product. You will need less blush, okay? All right, good, done, and done. Now, to finish the eyes, I am going to go under with my pencil brush into the medium sculpt shade. And I'm going to just give a gentle under eye definition. 
You do not have to put on mascara on the bottom lashes if you don't want to after this, but of course, please feel free to do so. You are more than welcome, of course. And then what I will do is I will take my lip liner, which I am looking for, and I don't know where it is. Here it is. I'm going to use Pillow Talk by Charlotte, and I will line my lips. And you notice I haven't done my brows yet, because if I don't have time, I don't have time. But, you know, I think brows are essential. But I'd rather have the full face on and then do my brows. All right, and then I'm going to go in with my Kosas lip stick, and this is in uh, rose water. I have been loving this because it looks like skin, you guys. These look like your natural lips. Super clean formula as, as well. And then I'll pop a gloss. This is the new L'Oreal gloss. And right over that. Okay, so now I say to myself, okay, I have a few more minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and go into my brows. So for me, my fastest brow product is either the one by Hourglass or the one by Benefit, just for me. Um, and then I just will do a really gentle eyebrow. And that is one brow. They're not going to be perfect, but heck, you can probably touch them up in the car, which is I have done many of times. Or I'll just slap this on and I'll be like, okay, well, at least I have some brows on. My right brow is my problem child. Okay. Yeah, doesn't look bad. That's really all I would do. And then that is it. Um, I would normally set this with a little bit of brow gel, but hey, I don't have it, so I'm going to run out of the house just like this. Really, really, really easy. Done. Call it time. Um, I will take out my hair, and I usually will do this right before I run out. I will take out my hair, and I will always kind of put it to the side up here like this. I'll take a little bit more of this product by way. And then sometimes if I have time, I'll put a little bit of a shine spray in. If you guys don't know what a shine spray is, it's just a, like a little bit of oil. You can even take your cacao oil and just run it through the ends. But that's it. It's super, super natural, really approachable. Uh, this is something that I will wear all the time, you guys. Um, so I hope that this helps you guys. I, you guys asked for this a lot. And these are my tips on how to get a flawless face in literally probably seven minutes without me talking. And um, really, really a beautiful, natural approach to makeup. So thank you guys so, so much for being here. And I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye, you guys. All right, so if you stay to the end, I'm going to give you a little bonus. When I have more time, maybe an extra minute, I'll take my brush and I'll go back into the um, Sculpt shade Deep. And if I have a little bit more time, I will go right into this crease and start to blend the colors together with a little bit more depth. For me, I have a tendency to enjoy a little bit darker tone in the crease or a little bit more color saturation, just for my liking, you don't have to. But um, I just I just see how it's a little bit more rich and intense when you do this. Still doesn't look any less natural. It still looks just as natural. It just defines the eye a little bit more. I hope you guys can see that. And then I'll take it on my pencil brush and do the exact same thing. I'll go right underneath here. Just like this and um, you could always take your Kevin Aquan blush on your finger and tap it in the middle of the eye over the cream if you wanted to um, you know it's really up to you for sure and then if you do have a little bit of extra time putting in a little bit of a um, flesh tone pencil like whatever your skin tone is in that waterline really helps to open up that eye and is really nice for all times of the day, but especially 
in the morning because our eyes can be a little tired then. So there we go. So those are our extra tips. Thank you guys so much for staying to the end and I love you.